Ah, the Simpsons. Celebrate good times. It's the 25th anniversary of America's yellowest family. And in our minds, out of the seemingly endless cast of characters on the show, there's one we'd love to interview most of all. That would be Diamond Joe Quimby. He's what you'd call a politician's politician. So we put together an homage to the real mayor of America. Over the course of a quarter century, the most successful American public figures of the modern era have visited the humble town of Springfield. But as exemplars of political guile, resilience, and sheer charisma, all of them pale beside Springfield's own commander-in-chief, Mayor Quimby. The illiterate, tax-cheating, wife-swapping, pot-smoking, spendocrat, Diamond Drew Quimby. Hey, I am no longer illiterate. Joseph Fitzgerald, O'Malley, Fitzpatrick, O'Donnell, The Edge, Diamond Joe, Quimby, was elected mayor of Springfield in 1986. His campaign ads are legendary for their succinct, persuasive force. Quimby, if you were running for mayor, he'd vote for you. Whether he's been caught cutting deals with the kingpins of organized crime. They're milking rats! Smilking rats! Rats? Oh, I'm outraged. You promised me dog or hoya. Or engaging in embezzlement so brazen, it would make Bernie Madoff blush. We will now hear suggestions for the uh, disbursement of the uh, $2 million. Don't you mean $3 million? Of course. And when it looks like he's finally done for good. And the results are in for Sideshow Bob 100%, for Joe Quimby 1%. And we remind you, there is a 1% margin of error. Diamond Joe Quimby always manages somehow to hang on. He is the real comeback kid. The mayor's office is not for sale. <laughs> God bless you, Mayor Quimby. You've got our vote. Vote Quimby.